This is <laughs> probably the biggest elo hell I've ever looked forward to doing. I I've never seen somebody with stats like this Bruh. outside of like, you know, pros on a new account type stuff. I coached this player three months ago. I kind of remember coaching, but I also kind of don't. So he gave me the, the refresher. I coached him three months ago and this is wild. Um, so we're doing Hildgard, right? And, and, and look, before I even say anything, I'm not, what's your 157 wins, 152 losses? You're like, okay, it's just standard stuff. He's probably not ELL. He's gold four, 1464 MMR. And then you see this. Bruh. And then you're like, oh, sh look at this. And you're like, wait, what the? F and then you go, how the f is this the first page? And I see this and I'm like, all right, this man's hacking, right? He started hacking. Let me go to the next page 16 and 2, 18 and 0, 13 and 2. Uh, but then I'm like, okay, go to the next page. How? How? How is this so consistent? Let me go to the next page. You know, we see this. We're like, okay, he's a human. But what is this? Go to the next page. He's a, he's a human in casuals, but ranked 31 and 1 on Jingwei. He's still a human. 31 and 1. He might have been jungle. He was the jungle. All right. So he says he's diamond. My chat said we should have made a master's lobby. If he stomps in this lobby i'm putting him into a masters lobby we're gonna do another lobby right after with masters players assuming we feel it out of his last 28 matches he has a 64 percent win rate out of his last 10 matches he's at last level matches he's won 10. i don't know what is going on i am so confused by these stats that i had to do a lobby he is on blue team he has not picked his god yet this lobby is a diamond lobby there are players from 2070 up to 2400 i think mmr ewok was in the last elo hell jungling against the the lower jungle and he had a solid game uh, I won't say he was insane, but he had a solid game. So he'll just play Nemesis. He's jungling. Blue team's comp on paper is actually sick. I don't know if I really love the Hades that much, but on paper, it's sick. Red team's comp. Raijin solo is going to be really good. The Sobek should have a solid game overall this match. Turtle Bog's a great pick. The Awelix is actually solid because it's going to counter Ul and it's going to have the play around Awelix's knockup and Sobek's knockup and knockback. Then we have the Nua. The Nua's a little questionable. I don't know how I feel about Nua. Nua might get, get pressured into the mid game against the Agni, but I did put out that Nua build, so he should pump and do decent damage for sure. Also, by the way, I'm doing giveaways. I always give away after this match. Every 50 subs, I'm going to drop either a battle pass or the X-Ball skin. Um, I think I have two battle passes left and four X-Ball skins to go that we will do the giveaways for whenever we get sub goals. So, you know, at 50, at 100. <laughs>I've looked through thousands of accounts from you guys applying because when you guys apply like tonight there was 25 people already applied in the first hour hour and a half i've looked through over half of those already if not more that is just crazy <laughs> like the stats are crazy they don't make any sense they do not make any sense what are these all right we ride around with hild here on the nemesis i don't know what build he's gonna go i know he had one crazy nem game on that that match history i just didn't look at the items uh so he goes golden blade and gooseberries so it's clear to be solid i'm assuming he'll go into like an aa hybrid like aa aaron dyke builds and not crit a wheelix and nem have a strange matchup their interactions are are weird if you're very good on a wheelix there's a way to knock up while in front of somebody it's from their side you do like a weird twist and if he can't do that he's probably gonna have a bad matchup into the nemesis because the nemesis shield is gonna negate most of the two damage and allow for easy trades however the nem can't chase over walls so if the wheelix gets in any fight and then bails out just jumps over wall he's gone but nem is also a solid pick at a new he can three every alt Nua ult, once it starts hitting in the mid to late game for 500 plus, it's very annoying to walk around with 500 health missing just because Nua decided to ult for some reason. <sighs> he's 100% going crit. Then he might go AA crit, no Aaron die. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what build he's rocking with. Because all those games are him pub stomping. His MMR is 1460. He's been pub stomping you know silver players essentially low gold silver players for all those stats this is a diamond game i'm not saying these players are beasts uh but it's a different level of gameplay i don't expect him to have 30 kills but if he has a great game and stands out i will have to see how far like if, if this man should be higher than this higher than that So far, everything's standard. Nothing looks weird.
so the opener is uh okay first 30 seconds down even this is yeah even this is smart oh iron's dead can he return he got a kill right off the rip he's definitely not 1400 of mr because he had the patience and the time to lay it in there and auto all the way down and then know he was in the skirt with this one most people i can tell mechanically aren't anywhere near comfortable to do that at a comfortable enough to do that at this mr iron trolled by hyper dashing there though and then eating a knockup that was just really i don't know what iron was doing there No, uh, he's yeah, iron with the troll dash, but he's definitely I, we already know right off the rip. He he shouldn't have been gold He missed his slow there. Okay, and his one got was that his one getting interrupted? It was oh, he's dead. Okay. Maybe maybe we overhyped him Maybe maybe oh wait Nope, maybe we overhyped him boys. Hold on. Hold, hold, whew, pump the brakes, baby Maybe we were a little ahead of ourselves here Hold the the phone there buckaroo because this dude just got played by that no he misses slow and then got bamboozled and then the wheelies had the awareness wait okay he, i thought he killed agni and made it back over but he didn't kill Agni. he should have blinked on the wheelies 100 percent. okay what's going on here now iron's back in the game iron feeling himself a little bit That was the strangest duo lane gank engagement I've ever seen and he just baited his team so hard I don't know what's going on right now Because he blinked and, and did not hold on I am I am My emotions are everywhere right now. I don't know what's going on. We gotta We gotta process some more information first Why are you guys typing in chat right now? Why are you guys all typing in chat right now? Oh, thank you, Tally. Okay, uh, dude, I was so confused. I was like, did someone do something? All right, so yeah, if you guys want a chance to win an X-Ball skin, Tally Ho started the giveaway because he's a beast. Iron with it. Wait, did Iron defend that at Invade? Iron did defend that invade. Oh, did he kill him? Oh my gosh, that Wheelix has one health. Wait, the Wheelix almost died to creeps. And the new house creeps minions almost stole speed. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game is all over the place. All right, so off the rip, I said this guy shouldn't be gold, but in the last two minutes, there has been some developments that might change that thought. Is that Golden Blade finished? That's golden blade finish in five gold. Wait. Yeah, okay. That was really weird. The spectator was delayed. Didn't make any sound. Golden blades online. Our boy is one on one, so nothing bad yet. I do not think we're going to see a 30 kill nemesis game, though. I don't think we're going to see a 20 kill nemesis game. 10 is still on the board, but. I wouldn't put my money on that quite yet. You're typing X ball in the chat for a chance to win the new X ball skin. We're doing a giveaway every 50 subs. So uh, we hit 50 or 62 for the day. So I'm going to do X ball giveaway and then another 38. We'll do another one and uh, we'll do battle pass next. He's used to playing noobs. That's how most of these players are. Um, like the Al Kwong last game, you can see he's just used to W King and holding left click with his two up. And it works against bad players. It doesn't work against the better players unless you get a crazy snowball off. Oh, oh, is he going to blow him up? Oh no. And them all wasted complete way. No, he's out. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. This new one's going nuts. Is he going my build too? Yeah, he's won my build. Not my build. I took that from a different new wall player, but it's the build I've been running. What's up, Hindu? Thank you for the five months.
Coca-Cola, you are a snowball player. The difference is you play you snowball play at masters lobbies. This man, a lot of these dudes are snowball playing in silver gold lobbies. It's a little bit different. That's another invade for a Wheelix. So this nemesis hasn't been on buff timers at all. They just lost two buffs. I think. Oh wait, maybe Hades got the blue. Hades might have got the blue. Oh, oh, oh! He saw the nem didn't see the Wheelix sees. The Wheelix gonna steal. No, he turned his back to it. Oh my gosh! This is him getting. He's getting exploited, bro. That's just the difference. That's the, the skill difference between fucking diamond and and gold. I am in complete shock that the game is going like this. I I was dead set that he was going to look really strong in this game. Like not just blend in. Like I thought he was gonna stand out in this level. I am in shock. What up, Cam? Thank you for the five months. Happy tricks. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back, guys. Hey, I'm not done yet. That's good reaction time. Is he going Atalanta's? I think it has to be Atalanta's next. Oh, it's gonna be a kill. Yeah, I don't know about the all because the sub can just ult him all the way. Yeah. Oh my. Wait, what? Iron just saved them. Iron just stunned the wheel Assault. Iron just stunned the wheel Assault, bro. Iron stunned the wheel Assault. So the wheel Assault got canceled. He just saved his life. He was insta dead. The nemesis was insta dead. Yeah, if you CC a wheel while he's ulting, it cancels it. Yes. A wheel is not gonna be immune, not stun immune. Or silence immune. You can be silenced, you can be stunned, whatever. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. That timing, I don't even think that was per like on purpose from uh, from Iron. It just he was CCing to try to help his boy, and it just worked out. That's crazy. Yeah, it, you're not doing that on purpose, ninety nine percent of the time. The si a silence from like Ganesh or something, I could see being on purpose pretty easily, but uh, definitely not a, a, a timed Agni stun, you know. What's funny is I just realized that that could happen to a Wheelix ult. I think the beginning of this year. It happened to me and I was like, what the fuck just happened? And then I processed it for a second and realized, I think it was the same matchup. I think Agni stunned me while I was ulting somebody else. And it interrupted my shit. Uh. Yeah, it's a very strange interaction. He's going to go here. Yep. No ult. That just took so long. For, he never ulted. Wait, body block? Okay. Uh, see, if he had ulted already, he would have killed that Nua. Good damage, though. He's kind of going nuts. Looks like he's got some confidence back. They're winning this game. They're, I mean, they're down on goal, but they're up 6-4. He's definitely better than gold. We... we, we I, we knew that, I think, coming into it. We just didn't know how much better. He's sticking. Ooh, we didn't pick it up. <laughs> I don't know about this back timer. I'm assuming it's a bias here, too. Oh, no. Yeah, he went out of Atlanta's. I saw somebody else run this build the other day, and I shitted on them in GM. I don't know who the fuck it was. But it was the same build. Oh, he goes crit next, I assume? You go Demon Blade? I don't know. Someone said he goes crit. So far, he doesn't look out of place in this lobby. I, I, he doesn't look great. His mechanics are definitely uh, way better than gold. See, like this decision making, though, is so bad. He's just dead. His decision making is bad, but it's it's because of his experience. He's never played against people who know what the fuck they're doing. In a gold game, he probably ults the Raijin and the Raijin runs away and nothing happens. 
as of right now i would say his mechanics are definitely diamond level but his decision making i, I, I don't know yet I, I can't make a full decision here because it borderline we're we're talking about above gold but are we talking much above gold are we talking plat because like he's not doing this he's not he's not everywhere like a wheeler has been and and kind of engaging correctly and positioning correctly it's not quite the same He's definitely got good damage though like he's in the game he's also playing for the mid late game he's not this early game shouldn't have been good so that's the other thing i can't judge too hard i'm not gonna make any full decisions right now oh, diamond mechanics is cap how he's dashed correctly for kills he's body blocked correctly it's the decision making it's that's fu fucking him like should he ult he, he doesn't know so he's holding his ult or you know do he's either ulted when he shouldn't have or he has an ulted when he should have which is a decision that's not a mechanical Thing that has nothing to do with your ability, your your skill. It's all decision making. High res lets you cook and add an item of your choice to the game. What are you thinking about? I'm going push book. I'm going push book. Because of the way the game works, it would probably have to be an active or consumable, but I'd want it to be an item with stats. And what it does, I've been, you know, this is from other the other MOBAs. You can push your teammates or enemies um, kind of like a short leap distance. I don't hate the target there. I just don't think he should have full committed with his ultimate because he knew he was just going to do all it out. But yeah, what it does is it pushes them in the direction you want. So like you could push your teammate out of a Poseidon ult who CC'd, or you could push, I don't know, that new ult off the tower into your teammates into a CC combo. You would run it as a support or as a, um, like some type of, like, you know, a solo or a, some work on, which wouldn't really, I wouldn't get to use it much, but I just think the item is so good. It makes support a fun, more fun of a role. No, the way it works in other MOBAs is you can turn off teammates' ability to use items on you. So it would be like muting them would trigger it so they couldn't push you at all. So like if someone was trolling with it, you would just mute them and then you, they wouldn't be able to push you anymore. This is a kill. He just has to walk up into him. Yeah. Glad he didn't overreact and like dash in or anything crazy. No, 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 no. The med is a push back i'm talking about you can push them in whatever direction you want left right back forth enemies or teammates one person you pick them and you move them and it's a push it's like a little leap a little little like hop of it, like air just pushing them well you heard the wheelies too can we see our first 1v1 like brawl he doesn't want it see if i'm a, uh, an m here i want that fight i'm taking that one i'm fighting this we like 1000 he's afraid to 1v1 him He's definitely afraid. Kind of like the Relic in Corrupted Arena. It's no, I mean, yes and no. The Corrupted Arena Relic, you have to like ranged aim and hit somebody. This would just be like an auto targeter. It'd be like, uh, it'd be like Nem Alt, but you, it, you know, you Nem Alt and then you like drag or push or you position it so it pushes a certain way. He knows he isn't playing Silvers. Yeah. It's definitely him not being confident that he's gonna win but he he should i guess maybe he shouldn't know this maybe he shouldn't know his matchups because he's playing with bad players in those other lobbies so he's trying to judge it what up blc C C C C save the seven months a pause save the five months what would you say is top five solos right now that video comes out tomorrow my guy <laughs> top five solos goes live tomorrow it's three mages and two warriors i'll tell you that He doesn't ward. Does he have no wards or not? A little bit of damage there. Um, you're right. He has not warded a single time. Looking like a little Mamba Jr. This Sobek is really out of position, but he's going to live. Tanks. Tanks are tanky. You would have thought. I like him leaving the fight and going to farm. He knows he can't do anything else and he's just going to die and they farm. Nice. Goodness gracious. Wait, how did this... 
How did this wool get in the game? I never looked this guy. I never looked this guy's MMR up. I don't know how this ul got in the game. He wasn't in the lobby when I checked the first, like when I did all the checks. I'm actually genuinely confused because his account's also hidden. Hey, he's not having a bad game. He's three and three. Uh, I just never, I just realized his name. I hadn't seen it. Expecting gonna mess up my HUD, probably. I think if you re-log before you go into a real game, it doesn't mess it up. It's a close game. Blue's down 2k gold, but it's a close game. A lot of 1 HP living for that Awelix and the Nua. Never, wait, how did he kill him? How did that... Wasn't Awelix out? Like, out, out? I have no idea how Hades got that kill. Oh, he looks lazy backed. Okay. Wait, I thought he was gone. It looked like he was at the tower line. Uh, show build, please. Golden Blade, Atalanta's serrated. Someone said he goes crit, so I'm wondering if his next two items are going to be crit. If he'd have ulted him, he actually had kill potential here. He's getting baited now. You want Blackthorn back? You would just want the hammer to do either or based on your health back? I feel like that item was kind of a snoozer item, bro. I want there to be a mana drain item. But it would have to be a, a solo laner item. And I don't know how it would work, to be honest. I don't know if it would be like autos drain mana or abilities drain mana or damage, you know, X amount of damage drains mana. That was a good dash out and sidestep. That was perfect. He, he can kill this Sobek. Obviously, he can't die because Nuwa's there, but he definitely, that Sobek's really underleveled. What the fuck am I watching? Uh, yeah, I don't know why he blinked. He was nowhere near that, that dude. He had to blink in front of his teammates to even do it. So bad should die. This should be all kill instantly. Nice stun from the fucking mid. There you go. Mm, that three use is questionable. I know he did it because he was about to eat a tick of the, the stealth, but it wasn't worth three. Good beads? And he's still dead. That's crazy. Raijin is such a crazy solo leader. All right, red team kind of going nuts. Blue team wait, fight it, fought for too long and didn't have their side lanes there. Good cleanup kill from the whole. Oh, they're going deep. Wait. Blue team is kind of going crazy. Into the Hades all? Hades is taking no damage. Dude, it took zero damage. Oh my gosh, this Hades is cracked in Fortnite. All right, the blue team side lanes are going wild. No blue stone? The ul went eye of the jungle. I am, I do not like that. I am sorry. I think that is dog shit, horrendous trash. Uh, League has a higher skill ceiling. Um, League has a higher skill ceiling because of the amount of players. But at the core of the game, Smite is far more mechanical. So you're comparing, you know, your top consistent decision making in League because there's, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of players, millions of players, whatever. So only the top of the top decision makers are going to make it up there. And Smite... There aren't enough players that it's the top of the top. There are GM players that are not actually good at this game. 
um, simply because their mechanics are good and their decision making isn't. I mean, we're, we're Smite's a game with high mechanical play. It's not crazy high. Like, don't get me wrong. There are way more mechanical games, but in comparison to top down MOBAs, which virtually have no mechanical play. Mechanics to me are aiming, like having to aim and hit stuff. You know what I mean? It's not just point click. It's not, you know, what do I use my ability now? It's can I hit my fucking ability now? If Smite had the same amount of players as League, then we would be saying League's mechanical play and, and skill ceiling is nowhere near Smite. But because of the player base, the player base keeps there from being a crazy skill ceiling because people aren't pushed to being perfect. I don't know why we weren't watching Hildegard. That's my bad. We did just see the Awelix int and get outplayed. Not really outplayed, but int. I'm gonna try to plug from Subba. Good cleanup kill from him. He's four and three. I say he belongs in this game as of right now. He's not out of place. He's not getting wrecked. He's not getting just destroyed. The early game had me questioning a little bit when he was getting invaded and everything, but it's looking pretty good. What's his build now? Erendite. All right. Oh, he's dead as hell. That was a bad gold theory call. I don't know who called it, but it was a really bad call. You little hell check this Raijin. Yeah, Mamba feeds a little bit, huh? Everyone in these games are actually having solid matches. Somebody's hard feeding. That leap was debatable. We should have canceled it. Oh, oh, he's done. Hades is Hades is in the last game, right? Or am I trolling? No shot. No, nah, he ain't gonna dash here. He, he just three he gets a kill. I right, killed him anyway. All right, back to the Nem. Come on out of base. Doesn't blue zone do more damage to objectives? Um, protector. I don't know if he's gonna go protector or seer. That's the thing. I don't know what he's gonna upgrade to, but th this is bonus damage to jungle minions. You're getting thirty percent increase. So no, blue stone is not gonna do anywhere near as much to jungle minions. But laning wise, the blue stone is inf infinitely better. And truly, I think for ability build, it's just better all day. That num dude. He's not alone in the inting like that. A bunch of his teammates and the other team did it there, but that was questionable. Is everyone level 20 but him? No, him and mid aren't 20. They're close. It's because he just died back to back times. Hard inting. What's Hades build? I didn't look at his build. He's tanky as shit. Oh, nope. He's just standard soul lane mage build. These items are busted. These items are so busted. Burn the Magi's? Nice. We should have waited on this three. They just bailed out of that real quick. Fire getting repulled. He'll come out of base. He's struggling because they're they are 5v5 team fights. And that is not a concept that happens in flat and below games. Nobody groups up and plays around each other. Even his teammates like grouping and playing well, so it's surprising. He doesn't know there's teams on the side. He's dead. Oh, good disengage. He didn't get knocked up. Oh my gosh, they are. They are on his cheeks. The Hades is making plays though. Oh, Mamba's out of position. Mamba's in trouble. Hey, the turn, Nem's healthy. I think he could have chased. I don't like this disengage. He just panicked disengaged after every ability was, was is down. So his team is winning the fight for him. I I don't like that. That looked really bad from him. That looked terrible from him for not chasing those kills.
I think it's safe to say he won't be the reason they win this game. He won't be the reason they lose necessarily, but he's kind of just just had very minimal impact after the 15 minute mark. And he's got protector finished. Did this team just int? Who's he gonna go on? Who's he gonna go on? Okay. Nice. This is a good fight for him. Hit just hit the creeps. Okay. He didn't even use the creeps to log. No shot. He's dead. He got the kill. At least he got the kill. Oh man, that took a little bit longer. He he double dashed awkwardly. When Mama turned back towards him, he kind of stayed in a straight dash instead of angling it over to him. Oh! Oh! Everyone's so low! No one dies. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, he's out of there. No, yeah, he didn't play it that bad. He he kind of messed up on the double dash. He definitely could have killed Mamba way faster. Absolutely could have killed, killed Mamba faster. I like that he held his ult though for a, for a few seconds. Made the movement speed from it have more value. Uh, the wool was three and three until the last two team fights. He's gotten a bunch of kills in the last two team fights, but it is late game wool, so kind of should be that way. He got solo a, a bunch, not a bunch, a, enough in lane for me to not think he's super smurfing. He has top damage, but so is the fucking Cherno. Where's this new all damage, bro? Good build. Oh yeah, Hit, this all should be hitting so hard at this point in the game. Yeah, he's running the standard old build. I just hate this. This should be blue, blue or redstone, either one. But no, I fucking hate the eye, dude. I know it's been a thing before. I just think it's so ass. He should have got bullied in lane clear wise. And I think he did. And that's probably why Turtle Bog was having a good time in laning phase versus him. If you go golden blade, you don't go gooseberries. If you go gooseberries, you don't go golden blade. Standard rule for you to follow as of right now. This is a diamond lobby with most people being like 22 to 2300 MMR. And this player is 1460 MMR with some of the craziest high kill games in ranked I've ever seen. And uh, he said he should be diamond level, so we put him in the lobby. And like I said, he's not playing bad. He's not playing great. I'd say he fits here. As of right now, I'm looking, he should be like a low diamond, like diamond five or four. Definitely not high. I expected him to kind of pop off in this game, to be honest with you. He does what all low level jungles do. That guy is dead as fuck. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, where they blink. Oh! If Ewok had gotten killed, <laughs> I would have lost my mind. If he got turned on there, I would have lost my mind. But hey, he's doing what every low level jungle does where they blink and they're not right on top of the person. When you're trying to engage in a late game, you have to blink and be able to auto them. Otherwise, your blink was a bad blink. If they're going to be able to react and just insta kill you. I don't think he was expecting to get crit four times in a row instantly. I, I was sure that Wool was getting a kill. Back to the jungler, he just spawned. Titan there. What was his last item? Did we see it yet? Heart Seeker? What? If he sells Golden Blade for like... Oh, 
hydras i guess i'm i'm down for it but if not if he goes another a item over golden blade i'm gonna be wonder why that art seeker isn't an a item he held his ult on that wheelies too that surprised me i thought he was gonna insult he doesn't kill fast enough with his build i'm gonna be honest with you a crit build an ability build or an aa build all like a pure any of those just pure would have killed faster than this his presence in the team fights it just doesn't exist with the amount of cc they had magis would have gone far for him they're they're in trouble they're they're in trouble they're in so much trouble Oh, that's a good kill though. Their base is getting railed. He needs to be able to go back in or back for his base. Like you can't, you can't watch this fight go on, dude. He's gonna die here. He's just watching his team die. That's a cleanup kill and a half. That, that had no value. That was that was not good. He legit really got that fight going after the, his ult leaped away. So the fight was kind of staled for half a second. Then he blinked in, he full commits to the ADC and then just bails out the fight. Oh, he didn't see him. Oh. 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 Mama's dead. Mama's dead. Mama's dead. Oh. Never mind. That was almost sick. That was all he did. He went rage and he just got double crits. He RNG that new off so hard. Okay, he got that was pure RNG. Pure RNG for Nemesis. He just bought this, came out of base, and got back to back crits on that new off. His heart seeker should have been a, a hydras, by the way. If he's gonna go rage, you still get your percent pen that you were looking for, and you get way more value from your AA canceling with the crit. I, I don't like that he went heart seeker in this build. I think that's kind of bad. What is it, Rogue? I love Ul's crit damage, dude. It's, it's, it's so hard. He does have eyes, so he's hitting creeps harder, but. Uh, I haven't done the video for the top five supports yet. That'll go live in two days. I'll tell you Athena is the best support in the game by a mile. If you want to know who's number one. Jax EDM carry. I haven't even seen that yet. Jax carry is my favorite. The other split that we play. All right. Hilds out the base. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty concrete in him being a diamond five or four player i don't understand how he's still getting how he's getting 30 kills a game in gold in sub 1500 mr i actually don't know how that's possible do i play with this guy and try to get him up in the diamond games I'll just play mid for him I try to get him in a diamond mr He has to get a my thing is his team fight presence sucks. He doesn't actually team fight. He try he goes on the first person he sees who's kind of separated, which like, yeah, that no doubt what you do as an assassin, but then that's it. That's the end of it. He does, like why doesn't he kill this guy? Why what is happening? He's getting spam ping because he's AFK. They know he's there too. The Wheelix and Sobek looked right at him. Yeah, Wheelix is yeah, he's about to die to Wheelix. Oh wait, crits, crits? Oh, we just got styled on. We just got bamboozled. That we just needed to wait another half a second to hit a knockup. He didn't let the the nem walk out far enough. Mambo's crazy. Mambo's crazy. Mambo's crazy. Oh, what? Hold on. Does he have no anti heal on Agni? 
You bot ass potato ass bitch, bro. Where is your divine ruin? Holy titty balls. Get a divine ruin, mage boy. He, the Raijin lived because he had no anti heal. Because the, the Agni had no anti heal. He just sustained through it somehow and then it had a really good Aegis. The Raijin build is the normal solo lane Raijin build. Nothing special about it, dude. Literally the exact build. This will be on the build tomorrow for top five solo laners. This is, you go this build every game on, on the right mages in the solo lane. The only thing you do is you swap Genji's and Breastplate if you're against physical or magical in lane. You swap the two. That's it. Same build every game. Every single game, same build. Never changes. Everyone builds the exact same items. Back to Nem. Does he change his build at all? Oh, he did. He sold Atalanta's for Deathbringer. Even more so, this should be a fucking Hydra's, bro. It's so dumb that's a Heartseeker over Hydra's. In my opinion, I think it's so stupid. The cooldown alone on top of the percent pin is infinitely better than the passive of, of, the, of the Heartseeker. He would get... His crits would be so much more, pro, like, relevant and big. He just altered the wrong person. And now he runs away. No, no team fight presence. That's it. He gets a kill here. He, you have to get this kill. Blink on him. Blink auto. Blink auto. Blink auto. Blink auto. Blink auto. Uh, oh, oh! Good play. I mean, got a weird positioning from Nuwa, but good play. Oh, he, oh, he missed. He still killed him. Oh no! Mama's gonna dash him and kill him. Mama, this is two twice. <laughs> Mama, you missed two twos. Bro, your two can't. How you even miss a two? Who can look at ass? Holy shit! Hit a two, Mamba! Goodness gracious! I I I see why the Nem is kind of where he is. His team fight is just terrible. His ability to team fight is so bad. He probably runs around in the gold lobbies, just killing the fuck out of them in lanes and like ganking and one v oneing. But his team fight, he won't go in. He won't chase. He doesn't know how to target. He doesn't know his limitations. They win. All right, this is, this is crazy. If Mamba hits his two there both times, I don't think they lose the game. I think they're still, like, they're all alive and still in the game. Coach the Ool. The Ool's in the, the diamond already. What do you mean? I can't even see his MMR because it's hidden. I didn't I didn't even see him in the lobby, bro. Am I trolling? Iron had a good game. Ool had a good game. His damage upped on them. But your team fight is actual booty butt cheeks bro actual booty butt cheeks i swear every fight was you running up throwing whatever it is you had at them and just running away there was nothing you did nothing else but run away i think all of your kills came from small 2v2 3v3s or just insta kills where someone walked into you especially when you built crit your last three kills were just insta killing the new one i mean there's three players in masters in that game so i'm not worried about the masters i just wanted this to be 2k to 2400 mmr I actually don't mind the Nem build. I like the swap, the idea, but why are you going Heartseeker instead of Hydras when you're going for AA canceling crits? That doesn't make any sense. The math doesn't add up there. Did he unhide his profile? How did you know his MMR? Oh, he did. He unhid it. Nice. Yeah, he's a 49.8% win rate, 250 games played, 2339 MMR. That Wool is a good player, but uh, I mean, he, he probably just needs to get a nice little win streak to get the back to master his MMR. Anyway. Hild, you're definitely not gold. Um, I'd say you should be low diamond, five or four. You need to find your limitations in team fights. Every team fight, you would run in, and you would ult somebody, and you would run away, and then you would look for cleanup kills, like people running away with no HP. You, you were not present in the team fights whatsoever. You very easily could have had 50, 60,000 damage if you went into the team fights and committed with your teammates. That doesn't mean hard dive, but if you disengage from a fight, look to go right back in. Don't look to go stand off to the side and watch. Because uh, in a game where it's even teams, your team gets shit on there because of the way you were playing the game. But yeah, I mean, you, you did solid. There were some questionable things. I think your mechanics are overall pretty good. Your build, I like the idea, but go Hydras. Your decision-making is where you're limited because you don't push yourself to figure out what your limits are.